students welcome to my class so today there is one more video of narration today we are going to discuss about how we change the narration from direct to indirect if the reporting speaks is optative sentence that means if the sentence begins with may how we change it from direct to indirect in the previous class we discussed how we change the narration from direct to indirect if the reporting speech is imperative sentence. That means if the sentence conveys a certain request, order, or advice, I will change it from direct to indirect. That is what we have discussed in the last class. So today we are going to discuss objective sentence. That is the sentence. begins with may. That means if you find may at the initial of the sentence, how we send it from direct to indirect. This is what I am going to teach you today. So first we have to make certain sense in the reporting for if the sentence begins with may or if the sentence is optative, then the reporting verb is changed into wish. Instead of said or told, it will become wished. Okay. And we also need that conjunction between reporting verb and reporting speech. So here in such sentences, we have to apply that conjunction when we make it indirect. Okay. And next thing we have to do is that we have to give the past form of may that is might in the indirect narration. So the things which we need to do in optative sentence is that first of all we have to change the reporting verb into which instead of say or told. And that we have to put that conjunction between reporting verb and reporting speech. And that we have to give the past form of mind in the indirect space. So I'd like to give you an example of such sentences. The beggar said to the boy, May you succeed in life. Or, the cardinal rather question, to me, that you will not have a So, the sentence which begins with may, it conveys a certain wish. So, this is a wish of the beggar to the boy that he may succeed in life. Okay. So, when you make it back, the things which we apply in the sentence is that the beggar. So I already told you that we have to use the reporting verb with instead of say or something else. So say will be removed and instead of that we use with. The beggar with the boy. Since we use the sense the verb say and put with instead of that, the two prepositions is also removed from the reporting verb. The beggar is the boy that. That conjunction is here. The beggar is the boy that. He might. So we use the first form of might. Here, he might succeed. In life. So, this is how we make a change narration from direct to indirect if the reporting speech is an optative sentence or if it is begins with may. So, very simple. You don't have to make a lot of senses here. 
you only have to put a that conjunction and after the subject we have to put the past form of may that is might that's all we that is how we change narration from direct to indirect okay So next, we are going to discuss how we sense narration from direct to indirect if the reporting speech begins with let us or let's. Let us, the let's is a short form of let us. That means if the reporting speech starts with let's or let us. How we change it from direct to indirect, this is what we are going to discuss today. Okay. So, the thing which we need to do if the reporting speech begins with let's or let us is that first of all we have to make a change the reporting verb. So, instead of say, we have to change the reporting verb into. Suggested or proposed. It depends upon you what you choose. Either suggested or proposed. Then here we again have to put that conjunction. That conjunction is essential in such sentences. And then we have to convert the sentence into obligation mood. Obligation mood. We don't have to make a change in the tense of the sentence. So that is why we have to make it obligation mood. Obligation mood is that whenever we use should in a sentence, it is called obligation mood of a sentence. So that means if the reporting space is let's or let us. After sending the verb of reporting verb suggested or proposed, after putting that conjunction, we have to apply should in the sentence when we make it indirect. Okay, so let's see an example of that. Given two examples, uh, there is a specific reason behind that. After giving the example, I will show you why I have given two examples of such sentences. So I suggest you see the examples very attentively. The first one. Rohan said to me, let's go out for a walk. So Rohan and Mukur said, the whole Atman was kahil ulai dao. So here, this is what Rohan said, let's go out for a walk. So definitely it is a proposal of Rohan to me to go out for a walk. So that is why, since it is a proposal or a suggestion, that is why we sense the reporting verb. Suggested or proposed instead of said. Rohan suggested me that. So this is what first we do. And the suggestion which Rohan gave to whom? To me. So that is why the thing which Rohan and you are supposed to do is going to do together. Both me and Rohan will do what Rohan suggested. So that is why the subject is we. 
that we. Because me is involved with Rohan. So Rohan and me together, we. The more of us that I will not know that you are at will or even a come on. The time you will go, what you will go, and you will go. Okay. Rohan suggested me that we should. So this is the obligation of the sentence. We should go out. Suggested me that we should go out for a walk. Okay. One more example. Rahul said to Razi, let's arrange the picnic. So here, let's arrange the picnic. This suggestion was given by Rahul to who? Razi. Okay, you are not involved here. The conversation between two persons, that is Rahul and Razi. Rahul proposed Rajiv that. So here we use the subject we because here Rohan and me is there. So that is why me and Rohan together become we. But here the two third persons are here, Rahul and Rajiv. So Rahul and Rajiv two are personal that we call. I mean, I mean we call them because the speaker me is not involved there. So that is why we have to say that they. Okay. Rahul proposed Rajiv that they should. Rahul proposed Rajiv that they should arrange a picnic. So Rahul and Rajiv walk question that he wanted picnic at the island of Rahul Kiyoba. So important thing in this two examples is that the selection of subject. So first, in the first sentence, subject is we because me is there. You have to look, see it very carefully. If there is me in the reporting verb, then subject will become we. If me is not involved in the reporting verb, if two third persons are there, then we have to use the subject they. And after the subject, we don't have to make any change in the tense. Okay, only put should obligation in the sentence, and that will help you. Change narration from direct to indirect if the reporting speech begins with let's or let us. Okay. So one more thing which is very essential regarding changing the rest of the direct internet is that that is sometimes the reporting verbs this is very much like so you can't find anything else goodbye, good night, etc. in reporting space. Sometimes reporting space is only Goodbye, good night. So if such things there in the reporting space, how it sends narration from direct to indirect, this is what I am going to tell you right now. Okay. So you can see a uh, goodbye, there is no verb in the sentence. And similarly, good night. You can't find any verb there. So so no question of sending sentence into correspondence pass or something else. You only have to combine reporting verb and reporting speech with the help of a reporting verb. That's all. So it is very simple. Still, I would like to give you an example of such sentences. Actually, goodbye is a kind of wish which we would give to someone who is 
from whom we from whom we inferred it. Good night is a kind of wish which we give to some person when we go to sleep or something else. Rahul said to Robin, good night. So, yet we have all. Rahul bed. Robin, good night. This is ten. This is how we change the nation from the right wing back. We are reporting this convey certain kind of things. Okay. So, with that, we just uh, come to the conclusion of the nation. We are almost done a meeting of narration and there is one word that is very easy, very simple, you must have known it. So if the reporting space conveys universal truth or universal fact, you don't have to do anything. You only have to remove the inverted comma and you have to put the that or that into that. For example, the teacher said, Earth moves down the sun. This is universal truth. So here you only have to remove Inverted commas and put that. The teacher said that the earth moves around the sun. So that's very simple, very easy. So hope you understood about narration. So I gave you a suggestion and we must have question bank along with you. There are RG question bank. So whatever the questions are there, I suggest you to practice them doing those exercises. If you have any confusion regarding things, you can ask me later on. Okay. So see you in the next class. Have a nice day.